Welcome to BFM Spotlight. Thank you. Tell us what um, Turned Out This Man was like at home uh, as a family man. Well, he was strict. Uh, he wasn't uh, someone that um, would uh, um, interrupt his family time with uh, unne unnecessary phone calls from outsiders. Um, he, he valued his privacy, uh, but he was a disciplinarian as well. I think um, overall um, uh, he wasn't uh, uh, someone you could easily joke with, even, even if you're a, a son or a daughter. Uh, he, he would leave that uh, pleasure with his friends. Okay. What do you think is the biggest misconception of what he was really like and his public persona? I think the fact that people never saw him smile. I think uh, people uh, saw him as very stern. Uh, but I think he, he tried not to put it on as an act. He was naturally very stern and he took his public duties very, very seriously. Okay. Why don't you share with us um, your fondest memory of your father? Any uh, anecdotes you'd like to share? Fondest memory of my father mm. was uh, when he took me on his uh, campaign uh, in the 64 elections. Uh, we drove down to Johor, we had to cross uh, two rivers at that time by ferry. One was the, the Moa River and the other was the Batu Pahat River. Uh, crossing those rivers was uh, one of the, uh, the most uh, exciting things because uh, it was a very small tugboat and uh, cars at that time were European cars, very heavy, and you wondered how they could stay on the raft. And um, of course, uh, there was excellent, uh, excellent food at the end of the journey, uh, usually catered by some of his political friends. And um, I could see that uh, he enjoyed uh, being with them. And um, I also remember having really, really pleasant times uh, by the beach in Mersing, because he was the member of parliament there. And um, every time there was a school holiday, he would spend uh, two or three weeks, however long the holidays were, in Mersing, and we would uh, stay in a house, which was actually two low-cost houses uh, joined together uh, in a small village called Sri Pantai, just outside of Mersing. Did he have a pet name for you? Uh, Did he just call you Taufik or was there a special pet name that he called you? I don't think I want to tell you that. Oh, okay, it's <laughs> personal. And you called him Papa or...? I called him Aya. Aya, okay, yeah. alright. And um, you being the eldest, was he tougher on you than, than your siblings? Yeah, I, I was supposed to be an example to the others, so he, he, didn't, he didn't spare the rod on me. Oh dear, okay. And being his firstborn son, did you feel pressure to follow in his footsteps? Did he ever encourage you to join politics or even warn you against it? Well, he, he felt that um, I should uh, have a profession and he didn't think that politics was some, something that, uh, that was supposed to be a permanent occupation. Uh, he felt that uh, if, you, if you had the idea and you had the inclination and you had the money, then you can stand for office and do what you have to do and say what you want to say and leave without having to worry about where your living is going to come from. Okay. There was a quote that um, he once said. He said that, I will do for my country what I will not do for myself or my family. Do you ever feel that his sense of duty to public office ever came before putting the family first? Yes, uh, lots of times. Do you feel that you know he made some sacrifices that you wish he didn't? Well, I think uh, he might have uh, still been around for my wedding if, uh, if he was still alive. Um, and uh, I think he missed uh, the pleasure of being a grandfather. So I think it was unfair that uh, he and Tun Razak died so young. 
but then again, we have to remember that uh, they sacrificed a lot of the time and the, uh, the health uh, for something bigger than themselves. For the country? Yep. And you were studying abroad the day your father passed away? Yes, I was, uh, I was an undergraduate in, uh, in Australia. What was that day like for you? We had a rugby match that night, uh, that afternoon, uh, the afternoon before that. And um, our college won, and there was lots of noise all through the night until the early hours in the morning. And at about three in the morning, there was a knock on my door. And I thought it was just one of those uh, pranks that, that people play. And uh, the knocking was persistent, and then I opened the door, and there were two guards from the university. So they, they quickly came to the point, said my father had died, and they thought I should know. So um, I couldn't sleep for the rest of the night. I woke up early in the morning, and the master uh, came to talk to me, offered his condolences, said the guards uh, should have told him first so he could break it to me in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I said, it's okay. Uh, then he uh, made arrangements for me to, um, uh, to fly back to... Kuala Lumpur, uh, the embassy had called him. So we had to um, fly from where I was, which is Armidale, which is halfway between Sydney and Brisbane, back to Sydney, and then take a Singapore Airlines flight uh, from Sydney to Singapore, and then from Singapore fly to uh, Kuala Lumpur. Were you calm, or did you... I wasn't calm. I was, I was quite... I was quite upset. I was, uh, uh, I think uh, I was lucky I had my cousin uh, with me, so um, I asked uh, the embassy whether it was okay for him to fly back with me. Okay. So what, what do you hope that our countrymen learn from your father's legacy? Well, uh, I think he and uh, Tun Raza uh, built a framework uh, to, to get us to where we are now. But I think uh, there's a lot more that, uh, that, that we can rely on from, from his example. Uh, for example, uh, tolerance for uh, other races, uh, some uh, empathy uh, for the poor and uh, those who are not so fortunate and how best to uh, improve their lives. Uh, how to um, make them aware of the fact that uh, they are not alone in the world, that, uh, that they can be just as good as anyone else. And I think um, uh, some awareness uh, of uh, the political realities and the social realities, uh, these are the things which I think he would have wanted uh, people to, uh, to remember. Thank you for sharing your memories with us. Yep.